Kia ora, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This will get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news the RBA Governor has set some specific limits to where pay rises shouldn't go to avoid monetary policy consequences. But first up today, the dairy auction brought slightly lower overall prices, down 1.3% in US dollar terms. But our lower currency turned that into a 0.9% rise from the prior event in New Zealand dollar terms. In a reverse of what the derivatives market signalled, whole milk powder prices dipped a little, while skim milk powder prices rose. The big mover, however, was the cheddar cheese price, which dived 9%. Volumes offered and sold were modest in the big scheme of these auctions. Nothing is going to change the farm gate payout prices from today's slip in prices, but it is the sixth in the past seven events, and since mid-March, when this slide started, overall prices have fallen 9%. However, from the start of the 2021-22 season in August, prices are up 21%. In the US, analysts' talking heads are out in force, warning of a recession there. But financial markets are ignoring those. Meanwhile, the Chicago Fed's National Activity Index fell to an eight-month low in May from April. Production-related indicators dipped sharply, while personal consumption and housing categories fell as well. But jobs, sales and new orders all rose on that same basis. American existing home sales activity continues its slide, recording sales at the analysed rate of 5.4 million units in May, a heady drop from the 6.5 million rate in January. From a year ago, that's an 8.6% retreat in volume. North of the border, Canadian retail sales beat estimates in April and are now 9.2% higher than a year ago. Much of that may be inflation's impact, however, but not all, so there's real growth in volume terms there. In China, it's their rainy season and flooding is back. It's hard to know whether it's worse this year or not, but it is extensive, just as it has been in many previous years, and it certainly looks bad. In Australia, their central bank has been out explicitly warning of the consequences of excessive pay hikes. Anything over 3.5% is a problem for them, they say, and have warned regular pay rises of 4-5% to risk entrenching higher inflation and bringing tougher monetary policy measures. These warnings were in comments after the Governor's speech and not in the speech itself. The US Treasury 10-year yield has started the week in New York at 3.31% with an 8 basis points rise. And the price of gold ended yesterday at $1,832 an ounce, that's down $2. Oil prices a little change from this time yesterday at just over $109 a barrel in the US, while international Brent price is now just over $112.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar will open today at just on 63.4 US cents and 20 basis points firmer than this time yesterday. Against the Australian dollar, we're softer at 90.9 Australian cents and against the euro, we're also softish at 60.1 euro cents. That all means our trade weighted index starts today at just under 71.3 and unchanged from this time yesterday. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9 brought to you.